I'm not telling you to stalk your website visitors, but if you try this, you will get more leads. Hey there, my name's Brad Smith, owner of Automation Links. Today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how I'm able to grab my website visitors' information, retarget them without them ever filling out a form. And if you've ever thought, I looked at my analytics and I've had a couple thousand visitors, but only two people filled out a form, what about the rest? It's because of a few things, but we can fix that with this special secret tool. If you stick with me to the end, I'll show you exactly how to do that. I've been doing this marketing stuff for 10 years, worked with over 2,500 brands. You can always learn more about me here. Not gonna bore you with that. Let's just dive in and I'm gonna show you how this works. All right, so here's the software that I use and what it does is this pixel that we put on your website and it starts showing you all the pages that your visitors are going to, their demographics, their income, their age, their gender, where exactly they came from, whether Google, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, X, LinkedIn, cool. But what are you gonna actually do with this? What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually be able to export these people's contact information and upload it into our advertising channels to retarget them. So how the heck does that work? So when I click on visitor identification here, you're gonna see that I have a list of names, emails, addresses, the URLs they were on. You can even come over here, see how much money they make. Cool, but now let's take it another step. Next, we integrate it over here on the left with our CRM. So now we can go over to our CRM and we have a full list of everybody that's been on our website without them filling out a form. I got the name, I got the phone, I got the email, got exactly the page and when they came in to my site. So what do you do with this? So if you wanna truly get more leads, truly follow up with people, the next step is to start sending them some emails or you can even send them a postcard in the mail. So after somebody comes to my website, that we're gonna send out a postcard that's gonna to go to their home and we're gonna say, hey, thanks for visiting our website last week. If you need any more information, come on back, fill out this link and we'll give you something of value. Another thing you can do is send them an automated email. So we send them an automated email and say, hey, just notice you were on our website yesterday. Um, if you have any questions, send us back more information about your business so we can learn more about you. So a few things we're doing there. We wanna build a relationship, not really sell them. We don't wanna be too stalkerish, but we wanna follow up. So what you wanna do is think about, okay, somebody visited my website. What's a non-pressure, just a relaxing way I can say, hey, you were on my website yesterday. What's, tell me more about your business. You don't wanna say, here's a coupon code to buy something. So try to build a relationship. Another thing you can do is go connect with them on LinkedIn or on social media so you can start building a better relationship. You come to my website, then you see a request from Brad Smith on LinkedIn, then we start chatting, and then maybe you come back to the website. Last but not least, what you're gonna do is export this list and you're gonna import it into your ad accounts. So think about it. How long ago was it that you created your Facebook account or your X account or your LinkedIn? There's probably five, 10, 15, 20 years ago since you created that. You still have an AOL email, you still have a Yahoo email, you probably have a some sort of old ancient email associated with that Facebook account or social media account. So when somebody tries to retarget you from your business account, they're not able to find you. So when you come into Facebook, you're gonna see that your scores are only about 50%. So what that means is when you come down and look at your pixels, to retarget somebody with ads, only about 50% of the people that have been to your website actually are able to be matched on the ad networks. So yeah, half of the people they know went to your website, let's show them an ad. But the other half have a different outdated email address to where you're only able to retarget 50%, sometimes even 40% of your website visitors. But what you can do is you can come back into your ad account and you can import that list of the shoppers on your site. So you can see here in the ad account, you can go to audiences and you can start importing your customer list here and then creating lookalike audiences from there. So what I want to make sure you do is make sure you have the right privacy and cookies pages on your site so you don't get in trouble for doing this because you want to make sure you respect somebody's privacy. If they do accept that they are willing to share their privacy with you, email them, send them a postcard, follow up on LinkedIn, import their email list into your ad accounts and start doing your retargeting. You're marketing, you're running ads, you're trying to grow your business, but you're missing out on 99.9% .9 of people that visit your website. Try this to increase those follow-ups and get people to remember you and come back and work with you. And if this video brought you any value, it'd be awesome if you subscribe. And just like I promised, comment system down below. Somebody from my team will send you this exact link 
so you can install it and start using it on your website to capture more leads. And if you wanna learn more about marketing follow-up automation, check out the playlist here, and I will see you on the next video.